Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next installment for Claire's Weekly Makeup Basket thing. And th again, this is the intro, so I will come on, say hi, and then you'll go to see what I'm going to be putting in my basket. Okay, so here's everything that I'm working with. I'm going to start by emptying out this box and laying things out so you can see them. That was a lot easier, wasn't it? Okay, so we have the empty box. So I'm going to go through it as I normally go through it. And that is like how I put my makeup on. So start with primers. I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Razor Primer. That can go in there. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. That can go in there. And I have this. This is the... I don't know, Super Plus BB Balm. Um, I use this for work or days that I want less coverage. And I top it with this to set it because otherwise it's too dewy for me. Concealers, I have this. This is the Lord & Berry Concealer Pencil. And this, this is the NYX Above & Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. They can go in. Um, I have these two things. One is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Bronzer. And the other one is uh, the Too Faced, is it Coconut? The Hydrating Primer, I can't remember what it's called. Um, that's what these are, they were just like small sample sizes so I put them into pots. And I am actually using them with my Fenty foundation that Andrew got me. I use the bronzer because it's ever so slightly too light. Like, you wouldn't notice it if I bronzed more. So I'm using the liquid bronzer to mix it in with and then it's like the perfect shade for me. And I only use a drop of this. But because it's so light, I think that I'm actually between between shades, between the 110 and the 120. But I don't know how much difference there is between the two. So, But in order to be able to uh, use it up, I'm going to keep using this with it until this is gone. And the primer as well, I like it with the Fenty because the Fenty is super drying. I try to use it with a matte, found a, uh, matte primer. But it just made it look really cakey and patchy, so I decided to try it with this Too Faced Hydrating one, which I got as a sample, and I really liked it that way. So these two together give me the right consistency and the right colour, and that foundation is beautiful. Like, I love it. So I would actually, if I was going to buy Fenty long term because I preferred that over any other foundation, I would get these long term as well. Anyway, I'm going to put those to the side because Fenty isn't going in here. Bronzer and blush. Bronzer, I'm still working on this Rimmel. The pan gets bigger and bigger every time. And for blush this time, I think, I think I'm going to go with NARS this time. Too Faced next time, maybe. Uh, highlighter, I'm going to go with this one. Oh, and I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer for under my eyes. Eye primer, I have... Well, I say eye primer, but I'm using this as like a primer coloured base. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Trick. That can go in. And this. This was in last time. I'm taking this out. And I'm going to put in this because in here. So I'm using up this one here as my, like for setting my primer with right now. So um, I'm going to put that into the basket. This Urban Decay eyeliner I'm using just because the other brown one I have, this one, it's getting a little bit dry now, but I just want to finish it up and use it completely. So it doesn't go on my waterline anymore because it's too dry. So if I wanted a brown in my waterline, then I would use this one. So those two are there. I'm going to take those out. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take those out and I'm going to put in this. This is the Avon Colour Trend Romantic Eyes eye Jewel Ended Eyeliner. One end is purple, the other end is black. I'm going to put that in. Uh, mascaras, I have two. I have the Model Co Mega Lash. Um, I'm not a big fan of this mascara, but I'm still trying it out. Um, so I'm going to keep that in there. This one I love. This one is the Ciate Wonderland. Wonder Wand, sorry. Uh, mascara. I love this. Like, 
it what it does to my lashes is amazing um it's very reminiscent of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in terms of the one shape, the consistency and what it does for your lashes as well. So I really enjoy this. For brows, I'm still using the Model Co More Brows. This is nearly done though, so hopefully this will be out soon. Um, let's move everything up. Okay, so the OCC Lip Tar is the only lip primer I have, so put that in there. And the Laura Mercier setting powder is the only setting powder I have. And the Fix Plus eyeshadows. Uh, this one's coming out. This is Sex Kitten. Keeping that. Um, this one I need to try as a highlight, so I'm going to put that in. Blush, that can come out. Too Faced Nude Beam, that doesn't need to go in yet. I did say that I was going to put in the peanut butter because I'm using the shade Jelly. So that one's going to go in. And this Too Faced Sweet Peach is going in as well. Um, let's grab these. Okay, lips. I'm going to put this in um, along with another lipstick. Not this one, but actually... Yeah, not that one. I have another one of these Maybelline ones, which is on the side right now. Um, which is in like 650 or something. It is the nude one. Um, so I'm going to put that in with this. This is my brow bone highlight that needs to go in. This, oh yeah, I was thinking about that. This one is the original. That one doesn't need to go in. I think that one can go back in the collection, actually. Um, this is the Whimsical Wonderland All the Fun of the Fair. That one doesn't need to go in this time round. Um, these two, I think I'm going to put in the Revolution one, definitely. Um, the sleek one. Oh, actually, the original one does need to go in. But that's in a... I'm just thinking about my throwing shade as well, because there's a shade in here that I'm using for my throwing shade. No, what I'm going to do, I'll put them in next time, and I think I'm going to put this one in this time round. So, that's everything in my box, all ready to go. The next one, let's see. This next one is in my... Uh, 50 Shades Project Pan. I can't open it. So hard with one hand. I'm like so close to hitting pan. Okay, let's put that in. If I'll try and hit pan. If I don't, then I'll take it out next time. And that's just a spread brow, brow thing that can go. And that's everything that's going in my basket. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you're still enjoying the top down view or if you want me to go back to the old way. I know that the quality is not that great, which I am trying to sort out like long term I will pick more and more things up that will help me get better at filming in that way so I hope you guys don't mind and thank you for bearing with me anyway I'm gonna stop rambling now and I will let you guys go thanks for watching take care and I will see you in the next video bye